All right. All right, this next series is just kind of off an of underhook series. A um, couple ways to get to an underhook. Um, just a refreshment. I kind of like club underhook. That's a, just a real common thing to get the underhook. The other thing I, I've been doing lately is when this guy's collared on the head or here, okay? Rolling this wrist off, club in the head, and coming underhook. When I come underhook, I really want to emphasize shooting this hand up right here. Boom. Uh, it's not, it, it could be over the shoulder, but my elbow's got to be high. Here, okay? Now I'm going to come to a couple different shots. One, one thing I like to do is just a simple throw by to my single leg. I roll the wrist off. Here, I can collar. Boom. Here, single leg, backhand on top. One more time. Roll, collar, big step. Here to my single leg. Sometimes you're just going to catch a leg. Here, okay? I like to lock in the crotch. Here, lock. Then, then get to a finished position. It's going to be kind of a scrap in that position, but you're better off locking in the crotch. Majority of the time, you're going to be the guy that scores. Here, roll the wrist. Call, collar, boom. Here, okay? The other thing I like to do is if I'm coming off an underhook, okay? So after I've rolled this here, club, and I've gotten this underhook, what happens is I, I kind of got this wrist right here. I'm going to drop to this leg with my my underhook hand. Watch what happens. He pulls it back. Boom. Every time he pulls it back, far leg opens up. I'm underhook. Here. Come here. He pulls this back. Far leg opens up. I'm going to run cross body. One more time. We're kind of in this position. In this position, I drop to single leg. He drops it back. Boom. This isn't your traditional way of finishing from an underhook. A lot of us like to try and jerk this to a knee tap or even just drop single. But what happens a lot of times is when we drop this arm, he pulls that leg back here. Okay, when he pulls it back, we're just gonna run double. Here. Something you'll notice is when you drop that arm to that leg, he's really gonna step back, really give you a big angle on the far post leg. That's good.